Hello there. Look at me. I'm inside the Node in Conf UI, and it's a for reason because today we will have a very fun and special video about workflows inside a Conf UI. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to learn how to take and capture image, how to take and isolate this image, how to process, create backgrounds, even how to work with the text overlay by utilizing Control Net, and after compose everything together, add more text so we can create or AI postcard or thumbnails, whatever you like it. So this way we'll see how the overlays work, how to work with them. So you can create very complex compositing, but it's much simpler when you think. So don't be scared at the beginning. We go step by step. And most important, I will share with you my way how I creating workflows. How do I find what not, not to use it and where? And it's much easier, simpler when you think. And overall, it is hopefully help you to find solution for some ideas maybe you're looking. Like in this case, you know, I start with one simple. I says, well, I have so many YouTube videos. That will be cool if in Comfy UI or in EI, I can create a thumbnail that I can go put it and much easy work. And there you go. Just with small few research, we can do this. Well, you know what? Um, because I'm going to switch my YouTube, well, my video, my face, I want to put it in the bottom. So for this, I'm going to disconnect a little bit. We still have these notes here, but I'm going to disconnect for now. And instead, I build special right here switch. So we're going to generate some other face and we'll use it instead. But everything will work exactly the same. It's just right there. It's switch will be also available for you. So you can switch between either wherever you want it on this case. But just let you know, my face probably will be in the corner somewhere there chatting with you and we'll still using this. By the way, all of these workflows for free downloaded. So I will put on Patreon and Google Drive, whatever you like to download, uh, because my approach to this, all of this knowledge is based on community research and other things. So the people are sharing. And personally, I feel, you know, if I learn from other people, I want to share my knowledge, what I'm learning or adding more to this knowledge as well for free for people who share this before. So be sure to check links below. You can download it, this workflow, explore, play around, and maybe adapt it for your own needs. Well, let me go switch. Well, Let's go ahead and start looking at our workflow. Don't get scared. It's maybe look too many nodes, but it's actually quite a bit simple. And we go step by step. Well, let's go from our left to right. That's how workflow are going. And we'll start from our load checkpoint. This is just as the Excel model preloaded. We usually have a uh, clip text, very similar. The only the different right here, you'll notice we start having control net. And this is going through the apply control net to our case sampler. But if we're going down the our control, it's feeding from this node. This is a little bit different from what we're using before. This is first time I think in my videos I'm showing how to use a text overlay. This is special node text overlay. And what it perform, it's have a blank image. Notice you can put it some other image if you need it, but we are creating right here blank image with width and height. We're also using a special font selector and I just separate this so you can preload it. You can click down and select from all depend how many fonts you have and which font you want to use it. Well, for me, Vladimir, it's my name, it was obvious choice. So I'll select this font, which is feeling inside, or you can just select from drop down here. We we'll, can put it our text, whatever you desire. I just put it geek at play as well. Apply color and text in our case, because we're going to use this text as a part of the control net. I want to create a white on a black. And after this, we're going to use a depth anywhere. And right here, a little bit preview to pass this information to our control net apply and using case sampler. Well, let's look what we have. It's a dim lit spaceship. So just something um, describing our environment. And right here we have it, our environment and the text applied. Okay. After we're generating this, 
we proceed to next options and you can see right here we're going from image from preview we kind of merging with our next session before we merge let's see what we have in this first this is just to create a person instead you know using me and i disable my webcam here so you can kind of see me down there so this is what we're generating uh, let me look over webcam this is simple webcam capture by the way if you have it some um, questions or how to install this nodes if you just take workflow drag and drop or open workflow inside the comfy ui after this you will go to manager install missing nodes then those nodes will be installed for you i do recommend restart your service so it will accept it because all of these nodes what i was using they are part of the official pack and you can easy access them from um, manager from comfy ui manager okay so we have it right here image and notice we have it width and height i would recommend uh, see what is your webcam supported otherwise it will be distortion for example on this one camera i'm using uh, uh, insta 360 camera which is technically can go in 4k but was in a 1080p and right here i have it width and height set to this also it said capture on q so when you press q it will capture your image in this case create fun face and you can capture and also this is just simple resize image this is necessary if we change our image to kind of merge and place it for me also it's important on the positioning well if we don't use this image we just simply create a portraits here and this is a very uh, generic standard things we want to do we have it our switch and from this point you can see we're going inside and isolating so this is the remove background or special nodes and it's set as a true and transparency it's important and then when we export we're removing the mask also this is take our image that we're creating and create additional mask over because we actually want to cut off and i find out with a mask and everything it just create nicer edges more blending in and when we start pro processing over again it's going to blend way nicer on the edge it's look like it's in the image it doesn't look too much like somebody copy paste on this okay so we are done well we are gone from here next notice right here what's happening i'm matching colors okay this is match colors not for image that coming because this is source coming for the portrait this is what we're creating i want to match colors with the background we're creating not very heavy because it's only 0.3 one is a all the way match colors so it does add a tin and it's make more natural but for example if your background is done in a warm colors and a, you just take picture in a colder colors they will look not very nice so you kind of want to match colors and this is what help us to do this matching colors and next it's just simple composite so in this case we can specify x y position and we can say where to place them fun easy way to do it so after placement we're going to our control net and the reason is for control net because i want to uh if we just placed on top like right here you can see we still have it see the hellos happen and other things because it's what it is it just take a cut off mask and put it so it does not match and blending inside what i want to do i want blend a little bit better and maybe enhance like right here you can see it's a blending and enhance a little bit better so we can do that way so for this we'll utilize our comfy uh comfy ui ultimate upscaler which we use it in previous videos so it does very well but what is important for us it can take additional different type of LoRa or checkpoints gone through them and apply over the image so it's a help blending it's take those edges as we specify and creating um, seamless kind of integration so and this is what happened here we thinking our uh, control net again we extract by depth utilizing inside the upscaler this is very similar this is a block we using before and remember how i said sometimes you can take blocks from different uh projects so it's what we've done we take from different projects here and uh, here we have it our 
uh, TurboVision, it's our upscaler kind of uh, pass over upscaler. So it's a blending, I will say. Details, face if you want, you can create your own Laura. Actually, I was thinking create Laura over my face and just put it there. So whatever image is creating, it will create with my face, which is kind of another way to do it. And this is my future project I'm going to um, build in inside the LoRa the um, training. So I will pre-train our LoRa. I'll show you how to do this. Not right now, not in this video, in a future video. And then we'll utilize that LoRa to apply my face and or maybe change a face swap. So we'll do that one. Okay. So right here we process it and you can see from this image we're processing. Next, we're going to add one more color match at the ending and we'll just apply another text. Remember, this is text on the background with control net. So this is kind of environmental text. And I want specially showing you two different texts because one, it's kind of, uh, you can go with a, like in a city, neon sign, other things, yes. And another text up front. And usually, in my case, when I do like YouTube thumbnails, the text need be easy readable and it's need be just up front like you can know what it's about. It's like book. Yes, text uh, title for the book. So it's what you do the readable, but also you can have it some background things. And it's here's an example. Purposely, I put it two different ones, one going through control net. And this is just simple. Same ways we have it the different fonts. You can select it what you want type and positioning of the font. This one position, you will need a little bit play around to get kind of knowing how position. It's not totally intuitive for me will be better if it just was on the middle and you can shift it left and right top. But it does not necessarily work this way. You kind of need to go horizontal adjustments, vertical adjustments and after X, Y shift and they're going from that position. So it's a little bit kind of weird. But if you got if you do too much different numbers here too much, for example, if I put like 200 Y shift, it will give me error. So if just in case, if you're receiving some error in this or positioning, it's probably you went out of range and some shifting. So yeah, this is a little bit tricky in this case. And this node, I just disable it to save my image because I don't need to save it. So currently it just said on a bypass. Well, this is, how say, it's very simple. It's not that complex what we've gone through, but let me now explain how I'm doing this, or well, how I create. First, I always have it. What is a problem? I need to find the problem and I'm looking for solution for this problem. So beside that, sometimes you have it fun. In my case, when I look on some um, new nodes, I come up and I'm like, oh, you know, this is cool. And next I have, it, well, I have a YouTube thumbnail. So I want to create this is my problem. So let's look on a solution and you lay out roughly your workflow. If you don't have it, precise notes, like you don't know which notes to use it, you can try to simulate. But what I find out very nice and easy way, if you just go to chat GPT, yes, it's a chat GPT, it's very easy. And you can just say like, for example, let's go right here and notice what I have. It. I have a two nodes, which is using uh, numbers for height and width integer, but it's hard to figure out what is proportional, which number should what. So if we're going inside and we'll just type what node in ComfyUI UI um, provide image proportions proportions uh, for SD Excel latent image. You can obviously misspell or do other things. It will work very well or describe some other. This is just example. And uh, later, not later, for Excel, just let's go image. Okay. We'll check my spelling, fix my spelling. And one thing what I want to do, check web. The reason is why we want to do this, or you want to go and click search on the web. Either way will kind of work. The, um, chat GPT pre-train, but they pre-train on like six, eight months older data. And in the comfy UI, it's a very fast, something new all this time come up. So in this case, if you will say check web, or we can say, look there, it's a prompt to actually retrieve latest information. And here's the result. 
you can see there you go look hey youtube you know it's funny when my only youtube sometimes pop up here but right here they have an image resizement gizmo but all what we needed actually not youtube we interested in look like sdxl aspect rate show okay so we can and also they have it links to resources which is kind of nice reddit i like better and you can always just even here you can specify check reddit only so this is what i said before the community the people who develop you can easy go here find answer for the node what node you're looking they will give you look for those nodes and next what we can do like right here confi yes oh look on this confi ui assist include resize ratio we don't need it we want this aspect ratio so other release beside what we can do we can go inside and try to find in comfy ui here we'll go and we'll just type and look right there we have it our um aspect retro nodes so same things we can go and click and install it. i won't install it right now because otherwise i need to restart and everything but here I go we have it our nodes and of course when you're done with this node you can just double time click and search inside here see if anything installed well i have it something already cr so let's go see if there you go aspect ratio and we can also use it that way um this is not necessarily nodes i was looking i was more looking like you know a simpler size but i think we can find the additional so right here uh, let me see if this one work hmm swap dimensions custom resolution oh right here look on this yep it's already here for us so we can just pre-select resolutions use the width and height and instead put it numbers so this is how i resolve problems by searching probably chat gpt give you a very good idea where to look or you can also go in and look on a list of comfy or not you know what let's try one thing so right here you can see we went and we disable so let's check i'm set false so it will go from our image we'll go ahead and press q to generate this is our model preloaded so we have it case simpler and this is already take our geek at play here so it should be applied um when you're experimenting i do recommend for you maybe use it not randomize uh seed sometimes it's helpful but this way it's work so we'll have it geek at play oh there you go look we already generated face right here of the person and there you go now we have it processing so in this case i think yes we have the upscale mode we're using so we can take separate segments and we kind of cover about this in our previous video uh, just if you're interested i have many other videos i done about comfy ui about general ai i have over 3000 videos i don't know if you know or know that or not i have it um over 3000 videos on my youtube channel which cover anything from 3d photoshop it's just my own personal interest i would kind of suggest if you have the free time go browse around go in a playlist see maybe you can find something more interesting for you to do some ideas inspirations and as well some different techniques how you can implement uh, solutions to some of your creations your ideas your problems Okay, and right here you can see it does it generated and i said um by the way right here you can see this is at 0 0.5 and because we're using upscaler 4 so it will upscale only twice it's meaning four passes four squares it will create it and there you go and when i like it see it's even take color on the forehead which very nicely i i do like how it's embedded with coloring and everything and there you go we have our postcard done all what we need to do re enable this and you will have this postcard ai save see how it's very well embedded i do like it well in general this is how i work and this is fun work uh flow hopefully you find some usage in yours at least have it fun with webcams and everything and create your own very awesome pictures um what are we going from next because i almost never stop my next step with this it's actually implement like face swap and pre-trained LoRa. So this is probably will be more on the steroids, but that will be in the future. Well, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you're enjoying. Let me know what you think and we'll see you next time.